Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to add a custom image to your markers pop-up window. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So I'm using a very simple web map here and I'll leave a link in the description down below on a video I did not too long ago about making a very simple web map such as this. So we'll need to add a marker and to do that we'll do a variable marker equals L marker and we'll put our latitude and longitude here Okay, and we'll put our curly brackets. So here we could put some options. So for example, if we want it to be like draggable, you can say true. Um, you give it a title. Now this will be when we hover over the actual marker. Um, I could just say something like, you know, ho hover text. Okay. And there's quite a few other options we could put here. Um, I'll put a link in the description down below on a video I did about um, making custom markers. But again, we just want to add some an actual imagery to the, the pop-up here. Okay, so once we have that, it will add to map. And we'll save that. And I like just to take a step by step, make sure everything's running properly. So here's our marker. And if I hover over it, I have that text, hover text. Now, the next step we want to do is make that to be a pop up. And to do that, we're going to say dot bind pop up. And from here, you know, we can add some basic HTML um, to change like the font size, um, the color, the style of our text. So again, I'm just going to keep this kind of simple. And we'll do an H1 tag. And I'll just say, you know, marker. And we'll close that off. And then we could just do a paragraph, a P, and say, you know, this is my marker text. Close that off. Let's go and save that and let's just take a quick look here. Let's refresh. We still have the hover over and if we click onto that, we have the H1 tag marker and then we have the paragraph text. This is my marker. All right, so we're moving along here. So the next thing we need to do is add our image. Now you can see over here in my, in my folder here, I have two images and we'll use one of those images and they're just images of plants so nothing too exciting but what we're going to do is add image source equals double quote dot forward slash now the folder i have is called images so after the forward slash, we're going to say images, forward slash, and then the actual name. So I'm going to do the first one, IMG underscore 2047.jpg. Now, of course, I could have renamed that, but I have this funky little title here. 
Now if I save that, let's go ahead and go back to our map and refresh. It's not there. So let's see, what did I do here? Image. Oh, I forgot to close off the IMG. Okay, so I'll save that. Refresh the map. And if I click here, oh, it's huge. All right, so what we're gonna need to do is add the style width. Okay, so if I go back in here after the image, uh, the, the, the name of the file here, I should say. After the double quote, we're gonna say style equals excuse me with and we'll say 300 pixels px okay we closed off that img okay we'll save this and give that a shot okay if i click onto my marker it's a little better uh and you can play around with this you know it just depends on how big You'd want something like this. I can even say like 150. Save that, refresh the map, and you'll see that the image will be a little smaller. Yeah, I, I kind of like that. Now, if we have another image we want to add to a different marker, what we're going to do is just come down here, and I could just copy the same thing if it's pretty similar. Um, so if I come down here, I'm going to change the lat long. I'm going to call this 487. I'm just looking at my notes here, and this is going to be 414. So just a different position on, on this marker. Um, and right over here, my image, I'm going to use the, the bottom one right here. So I'm going to change that out to this one I'll save go back to my map and refresh and I guess I should have made them a little further apart but so I have my two markers and this is the new one right here and there's my other image so and of course I had them I am draggable um, anyway this is just a, a very quick tutorial to kind of get you guys on the right path on adding images to your pop-up marker. Um, I hope this helps. Um, as always, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, if you have any um, suggestions on future videos, I do appreciate that as well. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss a video. Um, I put one out every week. So thanks for all your support and watching the channel and we'll see you next time.